Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Um, yeah, we are here in yeah Lakeland, where we last time fought a great battle with the Finitas, and then warfare declared that all who don't submit to him will die. Blah blah blah, and they, and they deserve it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Warfare's ship is already gone. How flattering that he came all this way just to give his little speech. I apologize for my earlier outburst. Rest assured, I have no intention of allowing any of my wounds to affect the performance of my duties. Especially not now. If I may, could I ask that you seek out Fancred and Mephilia for me? They endangered themselves on my behalf, and I would be feel better knowing that they are well looked after. Fancred and Sus particular sustained quite an injury from that sin eater. I would not be surprised if we were in a spaggerick still. Please, give him my thanks. But, yeah. Back in the Crystallium. Dang, how it is spice for free. Normally I try to be understanding, try to see everything from all perspectives and, and even at least recognize when the perspective makes sense. I could understand where Xenos was coming from. I thought that was a cool character, but Warfrey, Warfrey is a kind of evil I absolutely cannot stand. I'm utterly disgusted. I have a mere thought of the existence of such a person. This is someone I think deserves to die. Just for who they are. Not for what they have done, just for who they are. They're here for me. Sorry to put you to the trouble. I'm fine, really. The eater landed an unfortunately solid blow, but the healers here have done wonders. I'm more worried about Mephilia. She's not taking it well. Could I ask you to speak with her? My attempts to reach out seem to have had the opposite effect. She's gone off to the Hortorium, ostensibly to fetch herbs for Chesamir, but... Uh, just talk to her, will you? Hmm. A gentle poke? Poke. Here. Ah, Serenia, what are you doing here? Fancred was worried about you. Fancred? It's my fault, you know. I jumped at the chance to help Lena, but I was careless, and now it's my fault. You can make up for it by being there for him. I are you sure? I have brought him nothing but trouble thus far. And with it, what if it's worse next time? All I do is make mistakes, put others in danger. I'm sure he'll resent me for being this weak. Maybe he does already. But you're right. I can still help if only by seeing these herbs safely to chess a meal. There are only two left on the list, but I need to ask about this one. I've looked high and low, but I can't seem to find it anywhere. Would you mind collecting the other? I would hate to delay any longer than I already have. You're looking for something with soft leaves that's very fragrant. In an unmistakably medicinal way, I was told. We only need two sprigs or so. Once you got them, you can bring them directly to Chesamu. Whoever gets there first can explain that the other will be back shortly. Thank you. I appreciate the help. Okay, this is 
right? Smells medicinal. What about you? Also fits. Okay. I mean, Philia told me that you would be bringing the rest. Elven deal. Marvelous. With this, I can replenish our stores of medicines. We're struggling to keep, keep up with the number of wounded that are being brought in. It wasn't the field, but it doesn't matter. The patients' faces make plain that it was a horrible battle. We're still fighting it, I suppose. But with bitter medicine rather than sharp steel. But we win. I promise you that. seems that I owe you an apology for dragging you into yet another battlefield when you've already just come from the front lines. In both cases, I'm sure your effort saved more than a few lives. And with Spaggy Rex in good working order, the Crystarium's people will be well cared for. More lie ahead, of course, battles only you can find. Not what we intend to let you do it alone. But that's a matter to discuss with the Exarch. You know the Exarch? We do. Was there something you need? I need to, you to tell them something for me. My dearest friend, you see, he was there on the battlefield with me, but only one of us is here to speak for, of it. At the end, before the wound killed him, I heard his dying words. I never knew that our world was this beautiful. I'm so glad I got to see the night sky. I don't know how the Exarch feels about what happened out there. I don't know if what Warfrey said is true, if our losses were ju our just deserts, and we doom ourselves to worse by continuing to fight this fight. But I believe in the warrior of darkness, in the Crystal Exarch. I don't think what they have done is wrong. I don't think we are wrong to fight with them either. My friend, smiled in the end. Just as he smiled when he raised his glass to celebrate the return of the night. That's how I want to remember him. So I I want to tell the Exarch don't give up. Don't give in. Please. We'll tell him. You have my word. I believe it was important for Manfilia to have seen that. If I were stronger, how many people would still be alive? That's what you will be always always be able to say. Even I could have said that here. If you're ready, then why not go on ahead to the ocular? You can keep the exact company while I fetch Alvenum. Don't worry, I mean to borrow the swiftest Amaru I can find, so we shouldn't keep you long. Be sure to pass on that message, eh? Welcome, my friend. Tales of your heroism on the battlefield precede you, but I confess I found them more gladdening than surprising. I hear no few of our people have you to thank for plucking them from the jaws of death. Would that they had not needed saving to begin with. But the responsibility for that lies with me. One of our soldiers said that. Thank you. Rest assured that I fully intend to continue our work. I will not shrink from what must be done. Now least of all. Though I mourn the lost, I will not lose myself to grief. And even should regret be my constant companion, I will follow the path I have chosen to its end. We have some time to talk before the others arrive, if you'd like. And 
And if I were to confess any doubts I might harbor, no one need ever know. No, I believe you have enough burdens without adding a mind to them. Nevertheless, thank you. My friends, with your aid, we have weathered a brutal assault. Sorry I'm late, though I would not have been had anyone thought to notify me in advance. As I was saying, it was only with your aid that we weathered this assault. Without it, the Crystarium and all who dwell here would now be gone. For each we saved, another perished. If there is anything else we can do to help, anything at all, you need only ask. This is our home too, and we want nothing more than to keep it safe. Thank you. We are blessed to have you with us. As for the attack itself, Vorthri may call it divine retribution, but Sin Eaters are creatures of instinct. A coordinated assault is unprecedented. Yes, but Vorthri can control Sin Eaters. Moreover, in the absence of a Light Warden, there should have been no compulsion for lesser Sin Eaters to congregate here en masse. All of which points to a single, unavoidable conclusion. That these minions of Light answer to a higher power. He who did claim kinship with them, who did boast of control, not in idleness, t'would seem, but in earnest. Lord Vorthry. Indeed. What I mistook for bluster was in fact the truth. The Sin Eaters are his to command. But if he imagines this show of force will convince us to bend the knee, he is sorely mistaken. I take it your meeting in Yulmore did not end well. You could say that, yes, but I am wiser for the experience, nevertheless. It appears he has mastered a technique which allows him to enslave the minds of others, a fact I discovered when he attempted to use it on me. And that would go some way towards explaining the peculiar reverence afforded him by his subjects. There may feasibly be a handful of true believers among them, I suppose, but it would not surprise me if the vast majority were in his thrall. Had I not anticipated his treachery, I might well have joined them. But seeing his invitation for what it was, I sent a glamour in my stead. I rather doubt such tricks will avail me a second time, however. Did you have any luck tracking down the Light Warden in Calusia? Sadly, I have nothing to report on that front. What of Armorang? After a fruitless few days scouring ruins, I resorted to asking the locals. While no one I spoke to had seen any sign of the Warden, I did uncover a possible lead. An abandoned mine in Western Amarang. From what the Maud told me, it would be a perfect place to stay out of sight. Of course, I could never hope to explore such a labyrinth quickly or safely on my own, so I returned here. Even should we all join in the endeavor, an exhaustive search could take weeks. And with no guarantee of finding anything. The Wardens harbor vast reservoirs of primordial light, do they not? Far beyond anything found in lesser Sin Eaters. And isn't it true that the Oracle could see the light of a Sin Eater from miles away? Surely a Warden would seem like a blazing beacon by comparison. To the real Oracle of Light, I mean, the real Menphilia. If we travel to Armorang, to the south where she halted the flood, 
I could summon her back. What do you think? Don't. Don't what? Do what I can. What we both know is right. Do not presume to know my mind. You have no idea what you're proposing. But I do. I know why you never said anything. Because you thought you could keep me safe by keeping me in the dark. And maybe I thought so too. But I knew, Thancred. I always knew. Oh, I see. I thought you were a rather underwhelming reincarnation. But it all makes sense now. The Oracle lies dormant within you, doesn't she? But to draw on her true power, you must become one, both body and soul. To wit, one being must consume the other. Who shall be the lucky winner? This doesn't concern you, Asian. But it plainly concerns you. Which is why your heart is ready to burst out of your chest. Despite the raging tempest in your bosom, however, you have never once opened up to your young charge. Now, why would that be? Love. Well, I for one think it's a marvelous idea. Certainly more promising than any of your other suggestions. So, it's off to Armorang we go. I'll meet you at the gates. This is of course you have agreed on, I will not object. I'm afraid it will be difficult for us to spare any of a guard to accompany you. I can but promise that you will be well looked after upon your return. Just see to it that you do return, alright? If I had only been able to locate Colusia's light warden, it might not have come to this. I can't imagine what Frankfurt must be feeling and to behave this way, to say he's changed since coming here would be an understatement. He may as well be a different person. He reminds me of... Uh, he reminds me of father. He argued with us for months about our plans to go to Eorzea, but in the end he accepted our decision. I do hope he's doing well. Minfilia demonstrated impressive resolve just now. It seems she understands what must be done. Or I do wonder if she truly prepared to make the choice. Should she falter, it will fall to Fanquit to guide her. Ho however much she wishes it were otherwise. Though Fanquit has long known where this path does lead, his journey has brought him no closer to acceptance. Ah, will you never grow tired of shuffling your feet? If you have something to ask, ask. Tell me about Zodiac. As I told you before, Zodiac is the creation of my people. The first people. We summoned him, as your kind might summon a primal. I'll be an infinitely more powerful one. And like one of your primals, he tempered us. It was only natural. There's no resisting such power. And so we Askians came to exist solely to bring about the rule of darkness. His darkness. Of course, some would call us evil for it. And they would be fools. Though that is only to be expected given their innate inability to conceive of the nature of our universe. Uh, but I believe I'm repeating myself. Do you not trust me to speak honestly? Do you hope to catch me in a lie? Really? 
I have no need of deception, and even if I did, I assure you, you'd find it quite indistinguishable from the truth. I'm sorry to be so insistent, but I know it's the only way. If you're willing to give me a chance, come with us. Sorry for the wait, I'm ready now. Are you sure you want to do this? Completely sure? I... Look, no matter what happens to me, I'm sure that I don't want to go back to being who I was. I want to be stronger. Strong enough to face my destiny. And I want to believe that I can play a part in saving this world. I hope you can find it in yourself to believe it too. When you put it that way, how could we not? It's your decision to make. Just be sure that you are prepared when the time comes. If all are assembled, shall we depart? We we'll follow your lead. What route would you have us take? About that, there's something I neglected to mention. I saw a new Moan airship coming in to land over Amarang while I was on my way to the Kassarium. Not of the same vessel that brought Warfrey's forces to Raptika. Meaning we can expect to encounter armed resistance on our journey through the region. Right, now Nabafa Wang lies in the southern reaches of Amarang. And there are two routes we can take to get there. The first is the eastern route, which would lead us past Mut Motsuk. The other is the western route, which would require us to pass through the hills of Amber. Minfili and I took the eastern route last time. Yes, that's the more well trodden. It also makes for easier traversal of the Nabav Severance. But we can't use it. If we did, we'd need to cross the Severance from a point nearby the inn at Journey's Head. If the Umorans caught wind of our approach, it could very well bring them into contact with the inn and its patients. And we can be sure that their activities would not meet with Warfare's approval. It will make the journey more arduous, but I believe it would be safer to take the western route. Which brings me to my proposition. While you make for the hills of Ember in the west, I will draw the Umorans' attention elsewhere. To an area in the east where I that I know to be uninhabited. That way you'll have a chance at reaching Nabafa Rang unopposed and without risk of to civilians. Hmm, cannot deny that's a sound plan, but nor can I allow you to go alone. My skills will make your task at least somewhat easier, will they not? I will accompany you as well. It will afford us a chance to have a proper conversation. And if I go with the others, I'm likely to say something Frank and Crit will regret. Well then, we'll leave the work of distracting Warfare's forces to you. The rest of us will take the western route and try to avoid attracting attention. With that in mind, I think it best we follow the road from the bridges. We'll move faster with a solid path under our feet. We'll bow a few Amaro for our journey. I leave the rest to you, Minfilium. Thank you. I'll try not to disappoint.
I try to find a good point for starting one of the, um, these quests down here. We need to finish at least one to finish the main quest, right? Was that, but... I don't know, the story is woven so that I want to continue on and on and on and on. <laughs> if push comes to shots, I just have to push it somewhere in. But that shall be it for this episode. Um, yeah. Until next time, when we um, play more Final Fantasy XIV, I'm Mace and don't get lost. <laughs>